Now the third type of structural isomerism is position isomerism. So what difference they are going to exhibit in this kind of isomerism? So obviously they are going to possess the same molecular formula, those compounds who are going to get the same molecular formula, then uh, what will be the difference that they will show? They will actually differ in the position of the functional group, double, triple, single bond, sorry, double or triple bond or they will uh, differ in the position of the functional group, secondary functional group that is any alcohol, aldehyde, carboxylic acid or, or maybe a uh, different in the position of the substituent. So see look at the example. Suppose I have, I am just writing the formula then you tell me that what is it, what is this compound actually, right. So what is the name for this compound? So what do you get to see? How many carbon atoms in a chain? 1, 2, 3, 4. So obviously it is but, single bond and and all. So it is butanol, right. But when I change the position of this functional group, if I move it to some other carbon atoms, see I am just moving it, then you tell me uh, like what change it gets now. Now what is the name for this compound? Again it has the carbon atoms, it possessed the 4, it also possessed the 4 carbon atoms. Here it possessed the 1 OH group and here also it possessed the 1 OH group. But the difference is that the, this actually show, they differ in the properties now because now it, it was earlier butanol but now it has become 2 butanol because at 2 position alcohol group is present. So likewise it, uh, it is just not uh, you can say the position of hydroxyl group is not changing it, it is entirely changing its properties right. Though the properties are not entirely changed you can you cannot say that the properties get uh, uh, you can say a uh, so it does not mean that the properties gets entirely changed it means that though they both uh, belong to the same family of alcohol so they must be possessing somehow similar properties but still they will differ in some properties right. So this means they are actually the position isomers. Another example, suppose I have this. So what is the name given to this compound? You can see it has 4 carbon atoms and it has the, the double bond in it. So what is the name for it? It is butene. Now what I can do, I can make the isomer of it by just uh, changing the position of double bond. So what I am going to do, I am just going to move the double bond from this carbon atom to any position which uh, differ from this position. So suppose I am moving it to this position, right. So what is the name given to this compound now? Again they possess the same molecular formula, 4C. 4 C's are present. Uh, hydrogen 5, 6, 7, 8. Here also 3, 3, 6, 7 and 8. Again C's are same, number of C's are same and number of H are same. So that means the molecular formula is same but still the you can say they exhibit the difference in the properties because now it has become but 2 in as the position of double bond is now changed it has moved to the second position right. So that means this is how we can say that uh, these kind of compounds which have the same molecular formula but differ in the position of the functional group or differ in the position of this thing uh, the double or single or triple bond or they may differ in the position of alkyl group. I will state an example for an alkyl group also. Suppose I have this compound, right. So what is the name given to this compound? This is attached uh, like if I count from this side it is third carbon again if I count from this side it becomes third carbon, right. So what is the name for it? 3 methyl 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, pentane, right. So if I shift this position of this substituent then obviously the properties are going to change, yeah, yet the molecular formula will remain same but still the properties are going to change. So I am just moving this, uh, I am just changing this position, suppose I am moving it to this position, right. So now uh, what is the number for this methyl group, obviously we will be counting from this side, so it will become 2, so it will become 2 methyl pentane. 
So they are actually in the, what we did in this we just change the position of the substituent. So they exhibit the position isomerism. So position isomerism is something in which the compounds are going to have the same molecular formula but they are going to differ in the position of substituent, uh, differ in the position of uh, functional group or uh, might be the position of this double, triple and single, sorry not single, double and triple bond. So that means the they can be changed in a primary suffix, they can be changed in the position of secondary suffix suffix and moreover there can be change in the position of prefix as well. So this is what is the position isomerism.